Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better man. Nine out of ten, eight or eight, and with your uh, career accomplishments, this is still like a head limit of a lot of people. Yeah, uh, not very long. Not very long. Um, I'm on the other side, obviously at a hill, so uh, I'm not going to play another 21 years. That's the damn show, but uh, not very long. Uh, I don't know what uh, when that door would close as far as my when I'll retire, but I don't have much time left. Thanks, OJ. Yep. So. We seen the performance last night for LeBron James as he dropped 40 points on the Brooklyn Nets at the age of 75. But we also seen a press conference in which he said he doesn't have much time left. He doesn't know when he's going to retire. He doesn't know when, um, but his time is coming. So in today's video, we're going to be asking the question, should LeBron James retire at the end of this season? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, boy. Finally back with another video. Been busy lately, but I'm finally back. And now let's get back to it. Now, as you see, the Lakers are sitting at the ninth spot in the West. Despite everything that's going on, despite how LeBron's been hooping, despite how the Lakers actually been playing good ball, they're still ninth. they in the play-in spot still. This whole Western Conference, everybody, it's been like playing well, but it's been like the top two teams in the West. The OKC Thunder and the Denver Nuggets. Those are the only two teams that confirm they're going to be one and two seed. Uh, uh, Minnesota, we don't know about. But the rest of the teams in the West, it's going to vary up and down. It's going to go up and down, up and down. We don't know who's going to be in the play-in. We don't know who's going to make it. We don't know who's going to be the fifth seed. Six seat, seven seat, eight seat, right? And so this is still weighing a, weighing a tear on LeBron James, which he's at, at the age of 75 years old, still hooping. And listen, I know LeBron wants to play with Bronny. I know he wants to wait till Bronny, his son, gets in the league. But he got to ask himself, does he really want to put up with this mess that he has to deal with right now? Because he's obviously playing for championships, nothing else. Nothing else. And so, it, even if they made the playoffs, if they be an eighth seed getting into the playoffs, they'll probably face the OKC Thunder or the Denver Nuggets. Now, obviously, they want to face the OKC Thunder. If they face the Denver Nuggets, they lose in the first round. And if LeBron loses in the first round, in my opinion, this might be his last year, ladies and gentlemen. This might be his last year. Because in my opinion, what does LeBron have to prove? What does he have to like? What does he have to? What else does he have to do next year? What what else we have to prove? Like try to win next year. Next year is gonna be even harder. It's gonna put more of a tear on his body. A lot of people is gonna get traded because a lot of contracts are gonna be up up at the end of this year. LeBron, I'm telling you, is I know his body is weighing a tear on his on himself right now. So. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not gonna talk about his accolades. I'm not gonna, you know, bring everything up. We know who the, who he is. He is my favorite player of all time. Okay. Obviously, it'd be detrimental if he retires at the end of this year. But everybody time comes, right? And for him to be playing like this at the age of 39, 40 years old, it's incredible. His longevity is unmatched. No matter what y'all say about MJ, Kobe, and all of them, LeBron's longevity is, in my opinion, is why he make, it makes him to go. Him to be playing like this at his age is incredible, right? And he's only playing for championships, only. And right now, it looks like they're not going to be even close to trying to win a championship this year. Let's be honest, okay? The rest of the team around him, AD's been hooping all season long. He's been doing his thing. The rest of the team, D'Lo has been definitely coming on. Austin Reeves has been arriving, but he's been a little inconsistent. Rui Hashimura has been the most underrated player on this team. And I guess when they get Jerry Vanderbilt back, they'll be a better force defensively. But at the same time, 
you got to deal with these teams in the West in the play-in. The Phoenix Suns. Hopefully not the Dallas Mavericks. Right? And the Houston Rockets, maybe. And the Golden State Warriors. So those teams, those three, four teams you got to deal with, it's already a task to get in the playoffs. Not, not only getting in the playoffs, but then if y'all get past those teams, there's no guarantee you'll get past the first round. If you play Denver in the first round, y'all getting swept or five games. Again, like last year. Denver is y'all kryptonite. So I'm guaranteed if the Lakers and LeBron face the Denver Nuggets and they lose, unfortunately, I feel like LeBron might retire this year. It's unfortunate. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I don't I don't see the reason why LeBron wants to come back and, and run it back another year when the the elite is getting even harder. There's more go, there's more competition. There's more star players arriving, more players that are gonna be facing the NBA, especially in the West. We got like three, four in the West that's gonna be facing the NBA. Not to mention John Moran is gonna be coming back next year. So we're going this might be LeBron's last run, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see him go out with a bang, okay? I wanted to see him try to really take this team to the best he could, like last year, to the Western Conference Finals. But LeBron's running out of time, just like he said. But what what a run it has been for him, you know? Obviously, the greatest career I've ever seen. I don't career rise. I don't think there could be an argument, in my opinion. Career-wise, I think LeBron has had the best career in NBA history. And that's my opinion. But I don't think there's an argument there. Right. Um, doesn't really have much left to prove. I mean, he did his thing, man. We're going to see what happens the rest of the season and the playoffs coming up soon. And I want y'all to comment down below if this is LeBron's last season. Is he going to retire this season or is he going to run it back for another year or two? And let's see what's going for there, man. And that's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a subscribe to the channel for you. Comment down below. Like I said, is this his last year? How far the Lakers will go? And will the Lakers actually bring him back next year? Or what what what, what will happen with the Lakers? That's all I got to say, man. It's been Bo Will, and I'm out.